Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today I'm going to show you how to customize Dreamweaver template for resume. It is pretty easy to do, so I'm just to follow my instructions step by step. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so and this is what we're gonna do. So this is the resume template file, the bootstrap uh, resume web page um, from the Dreamweaver. So um, this is the um, uh, responsive. So as you reduce the, your uh, window size for the mobile version, so it responses like this. So this is a basic template and we're going to customize it into something like this. So I change the background color, background image, and then um, replace the other uh, placeholder image with my um, uh, portrait. Uh, and then I change the, my skill set, a different color, and then I added one more. And then uh, more work experiences, and then uh, the image files. And also I change the, um, uh, the background color of this contact form. Okay, so um, here we go. So please open Dreamweaver. And then before we start, uh, please download the image files. Uh, you can download it from the link I provided in my description. So first, before we start, let's go to site menu and let's create a new site. The site name is going to be resume. And my local root folder is, I made a folder already, a uh, resume folder. So which is empty now. So choose it and save it. Okay, then uh, now go to create new file. It's going to be new document and the document type is going to be uh, on the uh, uh, starter templates. Sorry, starter templates and then a uh, sample folder. You go to other uh, bootstrap templates and choose the last one resume. So choose it. So that is this as I showed you. Okay, so first I'm going to save it as an index.html. So on the file, save as. Let me save as index.html in my root resume. Save it. Okay, see? So let me check my root folder, uh, which is resume. See? So there are uh, multiple files. So let me open this index.html. So this is what we have. John Doe, responsive, and then uh, there is skill set uh, on the white background. So it's pretty, pretty basic. Okay, now let me go back to uh, Dreamweaver. Uh, before we do that, uh, what I'm going to do is, so uh, from the, uh, the files you downloaded from the link I provided, so there are the eight files, image one through six, paper.jpg and portrait.jpg. So please copy these files. Um, <clears throat> copy and then paste it in your root and under your root folder you have the images folder. So there are for now two placeholder images. So I'm going to paste it here. Paste eight items. Okay, image one through six paper.jpg for the background and portrait. So you may use your portrait. Okay, now let me go back to Dreamweaver. So first, let me change the my background. So white background is okay, but I want to have the paper texture. So uh, let's try this. So first, in your DOM panel on your right, select the body, the body, and then open the CSS designer panel, then under sources panel, click on plus button, add CSS source. We're going to create a new CSS file. And I'm going to name it as a style.css. Okay. Okay, see that? The style.css is added. And then still your body tag in your DOM panel is selected. And we're going to add as a new selector. So in the selectors panel, Click on this plus button. If you see the P, so delete the P. It's just a body. 
hit the return. So now, in this body, I'm going to change the, uh, the background uh, color as an image. So under Properties panel, click on the background. And then if you want to have a solid background color, you can change it from here. But I want to have a, a background image. So under URL, Enter File Path, click on the, this Browse button. And then under Images folder, choose the paper.jpg. So we have this paper background. Now let me change the, um, the name. My name and your name. Okay, and then I want to change my title as a graphic designer or photographer. And my name here for my contact. So it's pretty easy. To, we're not going to change it yet, the basic layout. Okay, education is okay. Uh, oh, my portrait. So select you the placeholder image, this gray box. And click on this the three bar button and under HTML SRC image source is gonna be click on this browse button and I'm gonna choose my portrait so it's way bigger so I'm gonna set to 120 okay and then I make image responsive okay so it looks good and my education it's okay. College of Web Design or College of uh, uh, just the design. College of of Design and the University of Design. University of Design. Okay, so it looks good. And in the skill set, uh, I want to customize it. So first, uh, this HTML thing, I want to have as a Photoshop, my Photoshop skill level, and then my CSS, Illustrator, so I'm changing it to an Illustrator, and then I want to change it to Animate, and maybe on Premiere, after effects and let's see um, Adobe XD and what else in design in design okay and I want to add one more so if I want to add one more skill set uh, I want to add the uh, Dreamweaver so there's no um, uh, no bar for that so what I'm going to do is, once you select the in design, the one of them, you see that? And it is enclosed in between div tag. So I'm going to highlight these whole three lines, opening div tag, and then um, div class, and then closing div tag. So copy this whole thing. And then, after that, hit the return, break the line, and paste it. See, we have one more. So I'm going to change the title. Of that bar to Dreamweaver like this okay so it looks good and then also I want to change the color um, and then this background the color of this part is kind of a light light gray it's kind of a little hard to see it so I want to change it too so what I'm gonna do is once you select this whole bar in your DOM panel you will see the uh, uh, upper uh, the div tag progress empty full thing select the whole thing and then in your CSS designer panel my style.css is still selected and in my selectors panel I'm going to add as a new selector so click on the plus button hit the return so this is a new selectors and I'm going to change my background color to just a solid black see this happens okay and then also the color uh, I want to change the color so in order to change this color um, I'm gonna make a link to their website uh, you can go to this web page so these are kind of a bootstrap the background the colors so first 
for the Photoshop, I'm going to use the BG primary. So um, you can enter this hexadecimal code or you can just type the word BG primary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it in Photoshop progress bar BG success instead of that. Let me change it to BG primary. See? And my Photoshop level um, 85 or I want to say 95. See? So Illustrator, I'm going to leave it as it is. My Animate, I'm going to use another color. So this time, let me try um, BG uh, Info, oh, BG Danger. It's not dangerous, but I'm BG Danger. So Animate. Okay. Uh, my Animate here. See? And then I'm BG Danger. Danger. See? Turns to red. Premiere is okay. After Effect is okay. Uh, my XD, I'm going to have another color. Uh, this time, let me try BG Dark. Let's try that. My XD. Where is my XD? XD is here. See? XD is here. So a BG Color. dark see okay now um, another one one more color I want to use BG info for my InDesign BG my InDesign BG color is gonna be BG info okay and also I want to change the um, the level of that Okay, so ninety-five percent. Maybe I my illustrator skill. Uh, maybe ninety-five percent. Oops, sorry. Uh, it is ninety-five. See, and my animate level ninety, and then um, my premiere. Maybe 80. My After Effects, 85. And <clears throat> my XD, 75. And my InDesign, I would say 85. And my Dreamweaver, I want to say 90. So it is more customized. Okay. So it's okay. My education for my the bachelor's degree and master's degree is okay. I'm going to just leave as it is. My work experience, um, it's okay. Uh, there are two work experiences here. But if you want to add more, so if you have more work experiences, so from job A to job B, job C and D and E, F, G, then you can keep adding more and more. So let me select this. In your DOM panel, watch carefully. So this, row. So I'm selecting this entire row. So now what I'm going to do is select this, hold down the control or right click and duplicate it. See? So I have two more. So you can keep adding more and more. And you can change the um, um, the company's name and the date. Okay, let me save it first. Okay, and also I need to save my the style. This one, file, save my style. Okay, and let me double check. Let me refresh this page. See. So it's my name, my portrait, and then um, my new skill set here. And there are two more work experiences here. And yep, everything's responsive. Looks good. Okay, now I want to uh, switch this placeholder image with my image. 
So I select your first image, 300 by 200 pixel. Click on the um, uh, this three bar button. I'm gonna just uh, change the image source. So the first fill, click on the browse button. Let me import my image one.jpg. Open. I want to make it as a responsive image. Okay. Same way. My second image, image source, browsing, image number two, and make image responsive. Same steps. Image number three, responsive. Image number four, click on this three bar button and browse image number four, that JPEG, and make it responsive. And my fifth image, image number five, responsive, and image number six, and make it responsive. So we are almost there. Now what I want to change is uh, this contact form background box. It's light gray and then uh, it is not kind of uh, um, uh, not standing out uh, because the, um, uh, the background is kind of another kind of a very similar tone paper texture. So I want to make it a little darker. So I'm selecting my box. So in your DOM panel, make sure you're choosing div this one. So once you choose this, uh, you will see that there's a blue selection. So select that. Same way, in order to change the background color of this box, go to CSS Designer, select the style.css, that's the style uh, cascading style sheet we made. And then, in your selectors panel, click on the plus button. So on that div tag is the added as a new selector. Hit the return. And then let me change my background color as kind of a darker gray. Like that. Hit the return. See? So we got a new color. All right. Same way. Let me save my index.html also, since I changed the my style as well. Open the choose the style.css and save it. And let me double check and let me refresh. Watch. See? Everything's changed as I intended. And then and this is responsive. So this is a resume. So um, uh, next time, uh, next video, I'm going to show you how to make more interactive uh, resume uh, website uh, or like a, some kind of a simple portfolio uh, using nice page. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and you can use it for your future project. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.